This is Ross Shavilsky, D20 Studios, and today I'll be showing you the Hero Mages mobile app for Android. We're running today on a T-Mobile G2 phone, and I'm going to go ahead and get this started. Now here Mages is an application originally designed as a web browser game and what I've done is used Adobe Air technology to port the game to mobile devices. One of the new features is the uh, single player options. Wait for that to focus there, okay. And now we've got some uh, new options here to play tutorial mode, quick battle, or custom battle. Tutorial is a new option that allows you to uh, learn how to play the game while kind of going through this interactive story mode. So the characters on the side will actually go ahead and introduce you to the steps of the game. Um, one of the cool technologies with the phone, given the small screen, is that uh, you can obviously fit the whole viewable area like you can the web browser. So the uh, phone allows you to go ahead and pan and zoom using touch gestures and now go ahead and zoom out and zoom in okay and this kind of just walks you through the basics of gameplay commanding your forces and so forth go ahead and exit this game now As you can see, there's different missions, lots of different options to go ahead and check out, learn the various aspects of gameplay, including a tutorial on multiplayer. Quick Battle is a cool option that allows you to play the game, um, jump right in without having to customize any of your settings, so you'll jump into battle right against the AI. And Custom Battle allows you to customize your maps, game options, whether you want to have teams or not. But probably the coolest thing about the mobile app is that it's fully cross-platform compatible playing opponents against the web browser-based version. So if I go to multiplayer, you'll be presented with the uh, traditional login screen that you see on the actual PC browser here. We're just going to go ahead and log in as a guest. There we go. And I'm actually logged in over here on the computer. Let's see if I can pan this camera. Oop. So there's my PC-based computer screen there. So I'll go back to the phone now. And we can chat with each other on the phone and the uh, PC. Hello, Ross. You see the message pops up right there. Um, some of the other cool things we've got here, all the typical options that are in the web browser based version. Um, you've got your leaderboard, map editor. Map editor is kind of cool in general because you can do the draw your little walls and check your line of sight so you're planning your tactics to make the map. Um, let's go ahead and create a game. And I'm going to use my little touch keyboard here at the bottom to do this game. And then we're going to go ahead and have me join on the computer here to show this in action. All right, and there we go. And uh, as a game host on the mobile, I can adjust my options by simply touching the screen. And now I've got these nice uh, touch combo boxes. If I want to slide and change the map, we can do a different level. Okay, so there's the level. And then uh, I'm ready to go, so I can go ahead and click ready on the computer for the other me. And then we can go ahead and start this up. Now forgive me, I'm not an expert video photographer by any means, and it took me quite a while to get this set up here, but I think you can see that pretty well. 
So, it looks like it's actually uh, my turn, I think, here. Oh, opponent's turn. We can check in the turn calendar. It's the other Ross's turn, as indicated by the uh, gold arrow there. So now I can go ahead and click on the computer here and uh, move my forces into battle. Let me actually get a little closer on that so you can see. Oh, wait. Zoom in on the touch screen and then get a little closer to the camera. Okay. And so I'm just kind of moving my forces into place. And this game is a fantasy tactics. If you're familiar with uh, Magic the Gathering, Final Fantasy Tactics, um, any kind of battle system like that, this is a game that combines all the factors of that. You have spell cards, and you have uh, monsters and creatures you can summon and attack with. And it's now switched to my turn. So now I can go and scroll down to my forces down here and actually issue my orders by just clicking on the guys, tapping the screen. And it's got a cool system where you can kind of just tap once to uh, give your order and tap again to confirm. And I'll move that guy into place. You can see the grand scheme of things. There's my enemy, there's me. And let's move my sorceress into place. And then let's check out and see if we've got any cool spells we can cast. Yes, I think we will summon this big beastly monster here. We'll put him right there. So now I've got an extra minion and we're going to send him out onto the battlefield. Like so. If you want to chat, you can just go ahead and hit the uh, chat button here. Now, I've got my little keypad on the on my phone, but you can also just touch the pad to type if you're going to do that, so... Hi there. And, again, I don't know how logical that's going to be, but there's the message, and you can see that on both the uh, PC screen and the phone. You can play this game with up to eight players at once. Um, everyone would just show up here on the user side. You can also view people's profiles and statistics during game by simply touching their name and then viewing their profile. So you want to check out your opponent's statistics and see where they stack up against you. All available to do so there. Alright, so there you have it. Uh, a fully capable turn-based tactics strategy game. Cross-platform multiplayer support. All thanks to Adobe Air Technology. And this is Ross Shabilsky with D20 Studios, signing out.